bring. And uh, we all drank it at the last read-through, and then I had everybody at the table sign the box and the bottle, and I gave it to Ron. It was the last Battlestar read-through. Gave it to him, and he started crying and had to run to his office. <laughs> and he's got it now at his bar. Literally, yeah, he was, it was a very emotional time for him. Uh, but there's always scotch around on set, either brought by myself, Callus, Ron, David. Well, not so much, David brings tequila. You drink it. Yeah, you drink it. And he brings limes. Hi, again, happy birthday to you, and thank you both very much for coming. Uh, you directed an episode called Escape Velocity. Uh, and I'm thinking specifically of a scene where um, Tyrol pours out his Cali ridden guilt at a dumb at the bar. Right. Right. And then you're just so revolted then with the disrespect that you just demote it right on the spot. Uh, it'd be hard to imagine even most other adult cable shows that kind of risk being taken with a beloved character like that, but still leaves it in a place where fans feel like it's root for it. So is it the science fiction element that has granted you that kind of license, or do you think it's about Battlestar Galactica specifically? It's Ron Moore. It's Ron Moore. It's, Ron Moore. it's definitely, I mean, the, the whole idea of what you're saying there and asking is about character development, you know, and the unbelievable, you know, arcs that these people are taking and, and the kind of conflict that he created. Uh, he couldn't have given it to a, a, a better actor. Um, what Aaron did there was so right on. People could relate to him a thousand percent. And then my reaction, people could relate to it a thousand percent. And you saw, and it pained you. It pained you to see all of a sudden the chief and the admiral going through this. And for me, it was all Ron Moore. Because he's the last one that touches every single script. He goes through every single script and he's the last one to touch it. And so when you have a question or something's come up, you go directly to him. You don't go to the writer who wrote the episode, you go to him and you say, what's going on here? What's the situation? And so yes, that's a great question and I gotta thank you for it, and especially all of you. Are we getting close? Is that why you guys are up here? And <laughs> We're just starting, man. There's 55,000 people who like <laughs> Okay, I'll be real quick, but I have to tell the story. My first time on set with Battlestar with Eddie. You remember the scene in the miniseries? It was the 80, uh, 88 seconds. All I needed was uh, 80. Yeah. Was it 88 seconds? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he comes right in my face. I say, uh, no, I told that son of a bitch. And he gets right here and he goes, he's the XO of this shit. Don't you forget that. That's your post, Chief. And he's literally like this far away. But we shoot the master and then we shoot his coverage and we go to lunch. And we come back from lunch and we shoot my coverage over him. He turns into my face and he went for lunch and had a dog shit, burnt hair, sardine, garlic, tar sandwich. On purpose, didn't brush his teeth. Comes in here and goes, easy X. And I could feel my pores screaming. I didn't have to shave for two weeks. My eyes were burning. I watched that scene now and I'm just, <laughs> He dismisses me and I'm just standing there, but he's the big pause before he says, go back to your post, chief. So I'm standing there just going, please let me go, please let me go. He sends me away and I walk away and as I look and they yell cut and I look back at him like, what the f And he goes, he winks and he says, welcome to the show. Signing out here. I'd love to meet you that person. If you have any questions, come out and ask it. Thank you guys so much. Great, great, great life. You guys have given us a great life. Thank you so much.